future. I mean, it's in the future, in the past or whatever. So, you know, she real, she always on high alert, which is cool to be too. So I'm like, um, I'm like, baby, I think you just tripping, you know? So we just kind of talking. Then she jumped up like, so I'm looking at, I'm like, you know, she, she grabbed her gun by on the other side of her bed, you know, and took the dog in the closet. I'm like, Senna, I'm like, what's going on? She's like, baby, somebody in here. So somebody's in this house. So I'm like, all right. You know, I call my man who live around the, around the corner. I'm like, I'm like, yo, 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 my camera's not working, bro. My camera's not working. I need you to go, go to my house. Somebody in my house, and you know, send me by herself. She in the closet. I just need you to go to my house. You know, he's like, all right, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. So I'm like, all right, but. You know what I'm saying? I had sent him on the phone. I'm like, baby, you sure you hear something? She said, baby, it's getting louder and louder. I'm still looking at my cameras. I'm like, I don't see nothing. No lawnmower, the camera, I don't see nothing. I'm like, so I'm just staying calm. Like, okay. All right. I'm like, you know, you, 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 in my, you in my closet. We got all the ARs. We got everything in there. You in the safest place in the house. Stay there. Stay right there. You know, so she looking. I'm, st- I'm still seeing her face. Her face, like, she telling me to do this because they're getting louder and louder. So now, it's, what we kind of find out, you know, it's four guys. They upstairs. They're going through rooms. They're going through rooms. She's like, baby, they upstairs now. They upstairs. I said, baby. I said, they're going to come. I said, they're going to come where you at. I said, I can't let you go like this. You have to shoot. Because they're going to come in the room, and they're going to come in there. You got to shoot. You got to shoot. You gotta shoot. I said, baby. I said, this is real life. It's real life, baby. I said, hey, like, please listen to me. You gotta shoot. She's like, okay, okay. I said, baby, get my AR. I said, get the AR. Take it off safety. I said, every gun in there is loaded for this reason, for you. I know it's a big gun. I know it's that. But I promise you, if you just shoot that, they're gonna hear that, and they, they don't want. They don't. They don't want no smoke. I said, get the AR. So she pulled the AR out, and then in the midst of her doing that, they kicked the they they because her, her, her the bedroom door was locked. They kicked the door, boom, and I'm hearing it. I'm like, baby, they in there. I said, baby, stay calm. I said, you just stay right there. They gotta come to you. You don't leave that closet. They gotta come to you. And soon they come to you, baby. Just shoot. But at this time, she looking at the phone. So she looking at the phone like. I see her like this. So my little brother like, Cinnamon, look at the door. Look at the door, Cinnamon. Look at the door. Don't worry about the phone. Look at the door. But to come to find out, she got on her phone and she hit the panic thing from her phone for the alarm. Boom. The panic thing came. Boom. They heard it. Uh. They didn't care. They came through the, through the other doors. She looked at me and said, baby, they coming. They right here in front of the door. I said, she ain't pick up my AR, though. She picked up her handgun, and I, I begged her to pick up the AR because I ain't want her in no shootout with, you know what I'm saying, with her handgun, which is, you know, she got a nice gun, but I'm like, if it's four niggas in there, I don't want my baby in no, no shootout. I want her to have an AR and kill everybody, just kill everybody in there, kill everybody. That's what I'm thinking. I'm just shoot, baby. Just All you got to do is shoot. So... They, they was coming, and she said, they coming, baby, they coming. I said, put the phone down. I said, I need you to put the phone down, stand up, away from the door. As soon as the door knob twists, I need you to shoot. Don't wait. I said, baby, as soon as the door knob, shoot. So, you know, they, they start twisting the door knob. I said, shoot, baby, shoot, baby. Shoot, shoot. She, she started shooting. And, uh... She was gonna shoot. And they shot back. And then I guess one hit her. And um so one hit her. I guess, but when she shot, they they woke them up because they were scared or whatever, because come looking at all the bullets and shit. They was just shooting. They was like, they ain't know what was going on. So she shot and they ran. But I'm on FaceTime on the floor, just looking up. So she, after she shot, 
And they and it was the shootout, it was like eight shots. Like four minutes passed. She didn't get back in the camera, didn't say nothing. I'm calling like cinnamon. Cinnamon, I'm I thought they killed it. I'm like, cinnamon, cinnamon, please go to the f- I'm like, please come to the please come back to the phone. And I already feel bad because I always gotta travel and leave her by herself. That wouldn't have went, that wouldn't have happened if I was there. I would have killed everybody, bro. I would have killed everybody. And I wouldn't even call the cops. I would have killed everybody. I would have left them in the house. They would still be in the house. You know? So, you know, um, so she, um, so she didn't respond. But remember, I called my man. So by the time the shootout happened, he got there. He like, yo, four niggas just ran out the door, bro. I'm like, let them run. My girl... Uh, she not answering. Please go in there, bro. I'm like, just please go in there. Go in there. No. So, you know, he get up there. He, she, he was calling. Then all of a sudden, she got back conscious. and was just like, she like, help. She like, help. I'm like, baby. I'm like, I'm like, my, my kale there, he there. I'm like, I don't know if, I don't know what's going on. Please don't, he, he there. So he get there. She was laying on her face. She got hit. And her, I don't really know the, she got hit. In her cheek, and it went out her head. She was laying on her face. She would have bled out if my girl probably went and get there. So he got there, you know, and he he tilted her up, and she like, I can't feel my leg. She like, I can't feel nothing. I'm like, baby, stay calm. He there, you know. He called the cops for me, you know, and um, he called the cops. And everybody came, but come to find out, man, you know, I'm suing. I'm suing a security company for sure. These dumb ass motherfuckers and so these some sense, some senses that only work if you lift the fucking window. I'm like, what kind of dumb ass shit is that, bro? I'm like, who the fuck needs sensors for a window that you gotta just open? Ain't nobody gonna break in no house from the inside. So they broke a window and got in without no sensors going on. I'm suing them. I'm suing the fuck out of them. You, you know. And I ain't have to do this, bro. I know I didn't. But I just, motherfuckers out there playing like, playing like, playing with my motherfucking baby. No fucking game, bro. No, she ain't deserve this. Take that shit up with me, man. If niggas want me, niggas want to rob me, niggas want to shoot me, take that shit up with me, bro. My girl don't do nothing to nobody, bro. Running the house and doing that kind of shit, man. Y'all know where I'm at. Y'all know where my show's at. Lead it up with me if niggas got problems with me if niggas want to wait until whatever the problem is I, I, I mean it's, I, I'm gonna have a flyer anything bro I'm everywhere come see me bro my girl don't got nothing she don't deserve it my fucking girl neck broke you know what I'm saying like motherfucker like that shit just drive me crazy that I I was that helpless man like I, I just felt I am watching my girl four niggas in the house just watching my girl on Facetime fear for her life. And I'm out of town. That shit whack, bro. You know, I just want to say, man, I appreciate everybody. I appreciate everybody, bro. You know, checked in with her and everything. She recovering and all that. And just pray for her. But I'm saying pray for me because the, the thoughts in my motherfucking head, bro. Like, I'm telling you. Motherfuckers know how I, I really get to thinking, it, bro. I'm just going through it because this the decision I want to make. And this already, I don't know who to. I just want to blame everybody. I just want to blame everybody, and I'm just, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to say that, I just, the only time I'm telling that story, let cinnamon heal, and just send love, if y'all, y'all ain't got to believe it, whatever, just leave it alone, though, just send y'all love, y'all don't care, just don't, everybody who care, you know, send love our way, I want to appreciate everybody who called and checked in on us, you know, mm. oh yeah.